this load screen, there'll be a cinematic. And finally, Crown Princess Melia's accession will take place one year from today. Until such time, as decreed by the Crown Princess, I shall assume Imperial duties as Regent. If there is anyone who objects to said decision, state your grievances now. And no stabbing us in the back later with your assassins, understand? All the ministries are unanimous. We have no objection to Her Majesty's decree. To each and every one of you, our thanks. If I may, Your Highness, I would like to propose a roundtable discussion on strategy concerning the Mekon. Ah, what to do about the Mekon? Our defenses must be shored up immediately. Not only our defenses, Your Highness. Do you suggest an offensive approach? while the capital still licks its wounds? The Ministry of Research has the ideal solution. Friends act strange? A friend sad? Ah, oh, Ricky sad too, because of empty belly. Ricky, we already ate. Us Homs don't get upset just because we're hungry. Not hungry? Oh, Hom Hom must have small bellies. Oh, Ricky jealous. We've got to get our minds off this somehow. Dumban's locked himself away ever since we came back. Hmm. Is it because of the girl who was operating that mech on? Melia. How are you? What do you mean? If you were talking about father, I'm fine. I have no choice but to look to the future. You're stronger than me, Melia. Do not mock me. More importantly, it is time you tell me who she is. We've known her all our lives. We thought she was killed in Colony 9. And then Smash Brothers spoiled everything. Yeah. She didn't even recognize us. She's not the Fiora I remember. It looked a lot like Fiora. But if it was her. Then I can't imagine how Dumban feels. What did he mean? Fiora is Dumban's sister. <gasps> I didn't know. Is this Fiora important to Shulk? Important? She's more than important. She's the reason we're out here. Oh no, competition. <laughs> if that really was Fiora, why didn't she reply to me? Fiora. I'd better talk to Dunban. He'll know something. Looks like I can turn in a quest or something. Oh, yeah. I could probably do that on my way to Dunban. It's only a little out of the way <laughs> from where the flag is. <laughs> Actually, because I don't have a party, I wouldn't have any way to grow affinity right now if I did that. Oh. So, straight to Dunban it is. Yes. <laughs> Your path is getting confused. <laughs> huh. Huh. 
So, uh, Dunban, when it rains, it pours, huh? I've been looking for you. So this is where you were. Shulk. Apologies. Was everyone worried? Of course. Me especially. Hmm? It's just... I've been thinking about Fiora. And I can't help wondering. Wondering what? You saw how Fiora acted. It was like she didn't even recognize us. Yes. It's unsettling. But Shulk, don't get me wrong. I'm not sad. Even if she doesn't recognize me, I'm glad to know she's alive. Dunban... You see, Fiora was born many years after me. She wasn't born ready like I was. <laughs> and not long afterwards, we lost our father to a Mekon. It was left to me to protect and raise her, almost like a father. I was always jealous that she had you as her brother. Ah, yes. You and Fiora used to be inseparable. Yeah. I need to tell you something. I always thought if Fiora were to be with anyone, it should be you. What? But Ryan hangs out with her just as much as me. Yeah, he does. But Fiora doesn't like him in that way. Oh. I see. He's a nice guy. Reminds me of myself when I was his age. All reckless and hot-headed. Probably why he's not right for her. <laughs> Listen, Shulk. Yes? A lost life can never be returned. But she's alive. It doesn't matter that she's lost her memory. Yeah. I guess you're right. Fiora and I have spent our entire lives together. The memory of that can't have disappeared completely. It's up to us. We have to help her remember. Help me, Shulk. Help me get her back. You know I will. Okay. Let's go tell the others. Shulk, you and Fiora are the cannon ship. <laughs> Much to the dismay of many Melia fans. <laughs> How many cannons? That's not what I meant. <laughs> hey, they're back. Have you gathered your thoughts? Yes. Sorry to be a nuisance. Shulk? You too? Yep. All thanks to Dunban. I'm glad. Forgive me, His Highness Callion summons you. You think something's happened? We won't know until we get there. We are almost ten minutes into this episode. Yep. Cinematic, cinematic, cine, cine, cinematic. Cinematic, cinematic, cinematic. That frog man. looks really hilarious in some of the scenes, like... Let's have a serious topic. Kermit the Frog here. Hello, everyone. Hi ho. It's like what? <laughs> oh, longevity biter. Aha. Uh -huh. Or I can get I can do strike biter, which looks like his old biter. <laughs> but the longevity biter, like this one gives. Plus 20 to minimum attack damage and plus 95 to maximum attack damage and a plus 10 to crit rate. This gives a plus 3 to block rate and plus 100 to both. Huh. There we go. Flap, 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 Ricky Rick. Ricky Rick. <laughs> Ricky Rick. Sounds like Richie Rich. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Callion is summoning me and all that. Uh, that that's that's whatever. But um, quests. Yeah. On the side. You know, I, I want to do a little bit of questing on the side. Questing. Xenoblade with a side of quests. Huh. 
Uh, huh. This is superb armor, not a scratch too, it's perfect. It must have been tough to get it. I know I couldn't have done but now. Ha ha ha. Looks like I was wise to ask you kids to help. Thank you. I'm glad everything worked out. At last we can start construction on the, constructing the deciphering machine. Here, take this. To con compensate you for all the trouble you went through. Quest complete! Okay, now let's skip travel. See, it wasn't out of our way at all. Yeah, that was fast. Audience chamber. I apologize for calling you at short notice. It's fine. Is anything wrong? I must apologize to you all. Forgive our hubris. <laughs> we High Entia were arrogant enough to idly sit behind our defenses safe in the knowledge that Mekonis lies a great distance from our land, and we were wrong. Our decision to ignore the Mekon assault on your homeland was wrong. Your Highness, does this mean...? Yes, Shulk. We will face the dangers ahead together. Brother! Which leads me to my request. After setting eyes on a group consisting of Homs, Nopon, and High Entier alike, I realized an allied army must be formed. I ask that you act as ambassadors for the assembly of this force. Tell me your thoughts, Shulk. I need time before I make a decision. Does Shulk not wish to aid us in our mission? I do not believe that to be true. Then why? Shulk has... other people to consider. But if you're up. <laughs> yep. That wasn't like you, Shulk. I'm sorry. You know you can talk to me. It's Fiora. That's why you're hesitating. Yeah. Knew it. You wouldn't think twice otherwise. I... I just don't know. Find her, Shulk. Melia, I... I used to believe my father did not love me. Until the day he died. If you do not grasp the importance of loved ones until after they are gone, that is simply too late. You're right, Melia. I've made up my mind. I'm going to get Fiora back. You don't have to do this. I'll go and look for her myself. The burden should be mine. No. I want her back as much as you. Leave the ambassador stuff to me, Shulk. I'll probably make a mess of it. But we're a team. You can count on me. I'm afraid that is my duty, Ryan. I got charisma! I am of both High Entia and Hom's blood. I am the Crown Princess, and of mixed heritage. Thus, I am best suited to carry out this task. That means we won't... Yes. I will remain here. We must say goodbye. Is that what you really want? Yes. But promise me, when you find her, you'll come back. I'll be here waiting for you. I don't know what to say. Thank you. I want to find a way to make this work. It's probably a good idea if I go and tell Kalyan myself. I am sure he already understands. Besides, it's likely that the ministers are harassing him at this present moment. We should spare him any further inconvenience. 
Then, this is goodbye. Yes. Come back as soon as you can. We are in great need of your help. Got it. Walking back. Sexy walk. <laughs> <clears throat> Why are you still here? Listen, I'll keep an eye on Shulk for you. <sighs> Whatever can you mean? Well, it's a risky strategy, letting Shulk go off and just hoping he'll come back to you. Shulk and I are merely... Yeah, yeah. But remember, the longer he's away, the more chance his feelings for you will fade. But... Once we find this Fiora, I will personally whisk him back here in a heartbeat. <laughs> Don't give up! Uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> Great. Don't worry, Melia. I'm on your side. Until I change my mind. I mean, wait, what? Brother? Just on your way out, I see. It's not what... I'm sorry, Your Highness. About your offer, we must humbly decline. I see. Very well. Let us hope my sister does not shed too many tears. I stay because I must, brother. There's two millions. Rhyme wrong. This Melly smell different. Creepy. Yes. We need Melia to learn more of the lands of Bionis. But she is still bound to handle public matters. Hence, another Melia. Kalian. We're going off Padme, won't you? <laughs> your Highness, Crown Princess, as your humble subject, I formally request the following. Speak. I request that you accompany Shulk in his quest to find the Mekon that attacked Alchemoth. Are you sure? Shulk, I am aware of everything. Go forth and follow your heart. There will come a day when we need you, but it is not today. Your Highness, that means a lot to me. That is one cool prince. If only someone had his sensitivity. Sensitivity? Well, I'm sensitive. Hmm. The jury's out on that one. <laughs> That's a relief. We have recently received a report that the silver-faced Mekon fled to Galahad Fortress, the Mekon stronghold at Sword Valley. It will be a treacherous path. My sister is in your hands. Thank you, Kalian. I will keep her safe. Regent? I accept your request. I will return victorious with Shulk. I am most pleased. Leaving without me? Do you want to come? To reach Galahad Fortress, you will need to travel through Valak Mountain on the right arm of the Bionis. The snow-covered mountains are fraught with danger. Those unfamiliar to them risk never coming back. Of course you would be familiar with that region. Then there's no point in wasting time. Leave the Allied force to me. I am not known for my diplomacy, but call it pride. I shall succeed. We'll join you as soon as we can. I look forward to the day. Heroes of Bionis, make us proud. You see? Now we're getting some respect. We're back to this again, are we? See you soon, Kalian. <laughs> Alright, we're about 20 minutes into the episode. Let's actually play this game. <laughs> oh, I thought we were watching a movie. <laughs> Xenoblade, the movie blade! <laughs> All right, let's uh, continue down Maleficent Road here. I mean, Maleficent. <laughs> oh, that's right. We can talk. <laughs> oh, quick try.
travel was. No quick travel for you. No quick travel. No quick travel. <laughs> By the way, remember that shell container that I picked up? I forgot to turn that in uh, two, three episodes ago. Whoops. I think I that was the one that we had to redo. Because, like, we got, like, an hour or so in and found out that there was no sound. Yeah. Well, thank goodness we got sound now. And I think in the original recording with no sound, I think I did turn it in and then forgot when we had to redo it. So I was like, go, 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 go. Yes? Wow, you found it. Where was it? Near the crystals? So I dropped it when I was mining them. I feel bad for making you run around like that. I really should have checked out that place by myself. If I did that, I could have saved you a lot of bother. But regardless, I'm grateful. Glad everything worked out. Yes, a job well done. Thanks to you guys, Zane's not going to have a go at me. Thanks for everything. Are you there? Are you there? Hey, got any got any emergency rations? We need them right away. Could you go into more detail? You can speak freely. Shulk is a very good listener. <laughs> Melia, I wouldn't go that far. But Shulk, didn't you listen to that one woman talk for hours and hours and hours on end to unlock your <laughs> pessimism skill branch tree? <laughs> Melia, you weren't even there. How do you know? <laughs> I think I might have been there for one of them. <laughs> it's an absolute must for this latest adventure. We're not going to be able to make it there and back in just a few days. That's why we need rations that'll keep for a, a fair while. From what I've learned, Ortholus liver works best for rations. You can get it from Lake Bed Ortholus near Colony 9. I can't make it down there, so could you get it for me, please? Colony 9? I live there. Really? That'd be a great help. <laughs> Just defeat Lake Bed Ortholus and get that liver. You get the liver. I'm counting. No problem. Leave it to me. If Shug put his mind to it, Ricky, no, he succeed. <laughs> I'm relying on you too, Ricky. Ready, Ricky, ready. The fountain of eternity. Woot. To eternity and something. <laughs> oh, I know why fast travel is, is not able, is, is enabled. <laughs> they want me to leave by the one transporter and they don't want me to... It, they want me to get a specific cutscene that'll have that'll trigger a specific place, so they're like, no fast travel. No fast travel for you. I've been neglecting my collectopedia. You've been um, neglect the collectopedia. Category complete. Category complete. Category complete. <sighs> Category complete. Category complete. <laughs> Huh. 
Category complete. complete. Category complete. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do the only category I can't complete right now. Category complete. Category complete. Wait. Blaze plus. All oh, right. That, no, no. That, then that. There we go. <laughs> Hello. My boss told me a rumor. Maybe you heard the same. There's a room where they're conducting inhuman research. Why would they do that? Inhumane research, not inhuman. <laughs> Alright, let's go where the game wants us to go. Let's go where the game wants us to go. Let's go where the game wants us to go. <sighs> Whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> Once this cutscene plays, I'll be able to fast travel. We will need to traverse Sword Valley if we wish to reach Galahad Fortress. If Colony 6 were in better shape, we could have taken a pod from there. How are we getting there? We will take the path down from the Bionis right arm. Sword Valley is where the arm meets the Mekonis sword. Aha! So that's our route. As I said earlier, it is a snow-covered mountain range, and you should expect a tough climb. Are we all ready? Ready as we'll ever be. Quite. First, we will head through Machna Forest. This short-range pod will be our transport. All aboard, people. All aboard! See, now I can fast travel. Nice. So anyways, heading back to Alchemoth. Heading back to Alchemoth! Oh, there's a new quest available for me. A new exclamation point. Ooh, what sucks? Ooh, 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 ooh. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Naroth. Yes. <laughs> so you are the travelers that Ruthin was talking about. Actually, I have a favor. I have a favor I'd like to request of you. <laughs> you know what I refer to? Yes. Could you go into more detail? I can't read your mind. Yeah! Talk in a way that Ricky can understand! Did you forget? Did Ruth and not tell you? The deciphering of the ancient texts, remember? What Birdman talking about? <laughs> Ricky forgotted. Forgetted. <laughs> forgetted. Remind Ricky, please! Intriguing. You claim to have failed to retain this invaluable knowledge. Could this be a could this perhaps be an issue with memory formation? Note to self. Dissection, research, and analysis of Napon subject mandatory. <laughs> Dissection? <laughs> you want to make Ricky's whitey pawn and on Ricky's little pawn sad? Ricky, get mad! What? An individual of your nature has a wife and children? 
Intriguing, most intriguing. I could conduct valuable research into Nopon breeding habits. Go, bring your mate and offspring at once. What the hell? Never! No, never! Ricky's a big no! <laughs> Change the subject, or, rip, or Ricky no help you! <laughs> well, progress has been made since your last... Uh, since your help last time. The deciphering machine is now operational, but there's an issue. Its accuracy, you see, leaves something to be desired. It translated some things as, like, someone has set us up the bomb and all your base are belong to us. We have no idea what the fuck it's saying. <laughs> well, that's a good time to reference that. At this rate, our research may never truly reach completion. Thus, we intend to improve our deciphering machine. For this, I'd like you, I'd like you to go and collect some materials for me. Can I count on you? I just need one more green diode in the high end to get tomb. <laughs> Thank you for helping. Deciphering the text will shine much light on our origins. We can look forward to some great discoveries. I'm counting on you. No problem. Leave it to me. Let us aim to resolve this matter as quickly as possible. There's a person somewhere around here that I can move to Colony 6, which I need to do if I want to get Ryan's fourth skill tree branch. Hmm. Anyone want to move? Hello? That's just Teelan. Ha! Huh. Not a totally useless jump. Wanna play? I want to join the Imperial Guard, but I'll become an Imperial Guard and protect my mum. Mum, gotta protect the mum. <sighs> Mummy! You know it's British when they say mum. Ain't that right? <laughs> I think this was the way, but maybe it's not. I don't remember exactly where she is. Hmm. Oh, it's not you. Lighthouse, man Lighthouse manager Shalene used to be my classmate. She always got good grades, always top of the class. So I thought she'd end up working at the Imperial Palace. But she volunteered to manage the lighthouse instead. Maybe it's because she likes the sea so much. Oh, uh, the sea. It looks like that dollard Scarlet finally picked one of the girls. Maybe he wasn't as indecisive as I thought. Hey. I feel sorry for the girl who wasn't chosen. But then again, I'm sure she'll find someone better in the end. I mean, she likes Scarlet, so she can't exactly have high standards. <laughs> hey. Hey. None of that. Oh, there's a quest over that way. <clears throat> Most of triggered because I did infinity stuff. Because there wasn't one over there before. Mm -hmm. Not totally useless jumping! Woo! See? It, it works sometimes. I think. <laughs> But what? I can't. Oh, okay. Ugh. 
stingy with what you can jump over. Well? Excuse me, could you help me? My son said he was was going to go and do some training. Then, before I could stop him, he ran off towards Arid Sea. He has no idea how dangerous Arid Sea is. That doesn't sound good. I think we ought to resolve this issue quickly. Do you not agree, Shul? I completely agree. I just hope that it'll be easy to sort out. I feel terrified just thinking what might happen. Please, look. You look strong. Please help me find him. Oh, yeah, because I talked to her son before. He was the guy who's like, I want to become a guard and help my mom. So because I talked to him, it triggered this. Uh, I'm counting on you. No problem, leave it to me. I will do everything I can to help you. I will follow your lead. Thanks, Melia. Melly. change the time. Okay, I don't want to interact with you two just yet. Where exactly I found this person. Where are you, guy? Girl. Girl? I'll sort of recognize the name when I get over to wherever she is. Me. Akamas, the most famous scientist, Professor Nara himself has helped me with the research. I'm overjoyed. <laughs> I go stargazing every day, even if it's raining or snowing. I bet you I bet you think I can't see the stars if it's raining, don't you? But that depends on your feelings and what you want to see. If you look at the guy enough, you'll be able to see the stars. Oh, okay. Which one are you? Me. What do you want? Please do not talk to me. I might catch something. Vividim is definitely the nicest girl that Kaliki Kalika that I know. But she really upset right now. She said something about having an argument with her friend. That's important for a side quest later. Uh. 
The moral of the morale of the bureau guard is so low, even the citizens can feel it. What are they going to do if there's an emergency? That's a transporter we can't use. There's somebody way over here. Maybe that's who I'm looking for? Uh. I am s I am a somewhat of a high in influential figure amongst the high Antia. And so I was able to give my daughters anything they wanted. Any good father would do the same given the chance. And indeed, my daughters take advantage of my daughters take advantage to the fullest. Okay. Oh, there's somebody that has a quest for me over this way. Okay, can you look up something? Yep. Okay, where were you? Uh, go to the Xenoblade wiki. Yeah. What a pickle. What should I do? Will you please help? My daughter suddenly begun hating Hobbs and Hopon. She even finds half-blooded Hyantia anti distasteful. She was perfectly fine with the races up until a little while ago. Then she suddenly changed. She just suddenly changed. I have no idea why, either. That doesn't sound good. That a big, big problem! I'd like to help her if I could. If I could find out what happened. If I could find out why this happened. Wow. <laughs> but she doesn't seem to want to talk to me about it. Hmm. Maybe she'll talk with you. I'm ever so sorry. It's selfish of me to ask you this when it's nothing to do with you. But no nonetheless, thank you very much. No problem. Leave it to me. Yes, let us aim to resolve this matter as quickly as possible. Okay, so I'm looking for a high anti woman named Markish. Mark Crush? I'm not even sure how to pronounce how to spell it. Hmm. Uh just just tap the search thing up there. Boop. Uh type in M E R and yeah, there we go. Uh, uh, then it's like a what's what's that little symbol at the apostrophe? Like this? Uh huh. And C. H. Uh, actually, hit hit the X up there. Here, give give me that. Just remember where she tends to be. That's usually the big problem is trying to figure out where exactly they are. Mm. But at least the guide tells me when they are. Yep. What is it? He's not the one I'm looking for, but no, I hate to sound conceited. There's no one in the city who thinks my dishes are good. And so now I wish to open a restaurant somewhere else. 
Do you know where a good place for you to try out? Oh, I need to invite you to Colony 6. Such a place exists? Please allow me to open up there. I shall make dishes that please all of the peoples of Bionis. Enemies are attacking one of the colony's ether planters. Maybe they are attracted to the ether there. Fend off the attackers before the inhabitants get hurt. Can do. After I find this Macrish person, or however you pronounce her name. Yeah, however you pronounce that. Macrish. Christian Bale. <laughs> you you laugh right as I picked up an item called ha 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 ha. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Or ha ha ha. I keep wanting to add a ha to it. Yep. Ha. You hear Christian Bale with that fucking. I want you off my fucking set! <laughs> Did I already invite this person to Colony 6? I can't remember. Maybe you did. I legit don't remember if I have or not. Alright, well, um... There's someone else I need to invite. There's... There are four NPCs I need to invite to Colony 6 before I can even activate the quest that allows... Uh, that allows um, Ryan to get his level 4... That uh, is, 4th skill tree. is a Napon. If I can remember where exactly he was. I'm kind of ignoring the quest markers right now because I'm trying to find a specific person. And I sort of have a vague memory of where they are. I have an approximately vague memory of where they are. <laughs> <laughs> There's somebody in this village that also wanted to open a restaurant. achieve uh, okay you kind of look like the person that I'm looking for but you're not I think I've spoken to them, so let me... Mm. 
you. Goodbye, Yusa. Marina. This knob on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or did I already invite you and I have to invite someone else? I landed in the water. What the heck? Didn't think I landed on. That was weird. Okay, land in the water this time, Shell. Oh no, here he is. That was the wrong time. Puppy key is proud gourmet food critic with tongue like no other. But poca 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 taste skills are not really needed in here in village. It is why poca poca wants to move to colony six. Poca poca here there are quite a few people there. Poca poca just knows there are lots of new treats to sample. Yes, that's great. Poca poca will taste food as he helps with the reconstruction. Poca poca can't wait Search out rare foods and delights. Okay. Alright. There's an easy way to figure out if I invited them to Colony 6 or not. Poco. Poco. Already. Matreya. Okay, so it looks like I haven't talked to this Krish. Hey, can you, um... Okay, can you read what it says on our page? Yeah, okay. South side pond north of the shop. Got it, okay. Okay. There we go. <sighs> That's what I needed to know. Okay, I'm gonna be cutting some of that out. Okay. Oh, here you- how am I not seeing you? I think everyone on Bionis can live in- together in harmony. From what I know of you, I'd say you think the same thing too. Can you help me find a place where everyone thinks this way? Invite to Colony 6? Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad I plucked up the courage to ask you. I was worried you might say no. Well, thank you again. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. If I want to get Ryan's level four skill, uh, fourth skill tree branch, I need her along with the other people that I was just recruiting. One of which I ran into by accident. <laughs> Okay. Speaking of which, uh. Bring back my son! <laughs> Alright, let's find out where her little brat ran off to. Yeah! Get the son! <clears throat> That's not too hard to get to. And then after that, we'll do some more swide quests. Back to side quest. We're we're not in a like super urgent point of the story right now. Yeah. <sighs> Little boy. How are you? Huh? My mom's worried that I haven't come back yet. Oh no! I got so caught up here that I totally forgot to go home. Thanks for coming to tell me. I'll head back right now. There we go. And while that's been that, Let's see, do I have the hoed wood needed to turn in this? Yes? You've collected all the materials we need. That was quick. This is... This is really a great help. I hate to ask, but could you please use them to fix the wind turbine? Wind turbine. Just slot the planks in place and it should work. Thank you. So, Mark. Mark. Mm -hmm. I have to patch up this broken piece of machinery with wood. What? What in the what? And putting three planks of wood on that broken thing made that happen. How? It, it just works. Okay. It was technology made by bird people. It's bird magic. <laughs> bird yes. magic. Thank you ever so much. The wind turbine seems to be back to in perfect working order. Quest complete. Punish the hoads. There'll be hoads, no moods. This isn't going well. Is that all the backbone you have? Yes. <laughs> the hoads refuge is uh, just right down there. Whoa. Convenient. What uh, quest quest thingy? Why do you, why you say I have to go all the way that hey, when it's right in front of me? <coughs> yeah, it's right here. Yes, it even says it. Time for a hoed down. <laughs> Oh, 
You will die! <laughs> Hereupon, Ricky is here. Hereupon, have no fear. The Hereupon will save the day. Hereupon is on his way. <laughs> Hereupon and his sidekicks. Magnificent! His magnificent sidekicks. Bye, Hode! Where are you telling me to... I mean, the dude is right over there. <laughs> Why are you telling me to go this long-ass way around? Stupid map. Stupid map. Taya wants to take a nap. Stop yeah, that'd be nice. No time for that. <laughs> Behave! Everybody hero time! The wind has been summoned and it's gonna cut you up because this is a Japanese game. And wind does that. <laughs> He's really feeling it. Chulk, I'm feeling it, Ricky. Good, good boy! <laughs> You're not watching anything, Watcher Hode. Like fighting those easy monsters. Hit you with a raging squall. You taco saruga. Everybody hero time. It's everybody hero time. It's a hero time. It's a hero time. Let's hero this time to the time. <laughs> oh, this victory is so sweet. Here, try some. <laughs> oh, I got more of those Oruga slacks that I had laxed. Self. Leave it to me. I'm really feeling it. Do 
Zap. Yeah, how do you like it? How do you like it? Okay, <laughs> mine. Your fighting spirit is mine. He's like, this mech runs on fighting spirit. Your fighting spirit is mine. Oh no! <laughs> See, the way it works is the, 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 the huh? I mean, uh, fighting spirit. Oh yeah, <laughs> fighting spirit, right? Get you and you. Ah, I don't have the thingy that that does the thingy with the thingy yet. <sighs> Oh, Ricky, did you, did you learn? Burning heat! Ricky the burning eater, <laughs> burning eating the countryside, <laughs> burning eating the hordes <laughs> in their throats of purchases. <laughs> Watch this. It reminds me of those flame tanks from uh, Ape Escape 2. Oh, yeah. Alright, funeral Gozora. It's time for your funeral. Friends winning! Thank you. I see it. Big spin. All right, big, big money, big money. Now we're gonna do the big spin. Oh, 
shall change this fate myself. Smash that big spear. Yes! Passive damage that Ricky inflicty! Yes, the winnie! <laughs> Punish the hoads. Ooh! Got a Rugaslax! Which completed a different quest! Nice! And I was guaranteed to get a Ruga Slacks from that guy anyways. And then I can quick travel back up to the ether plant. Yes? To talk to Jarek. It appears that you have done everything I asked of you. The wind turbine is once again working perf perfectly thanks to you. I could hear the Hode Leader's death cries all the way from up here! Whoa! I don't have to worry about him anymore. Yay, yay! Happy here! Get ready! Happy here! You did a good thing, Ricky. That is what makes you the Hereupon. Melly, say nice things about Ricky! Ricky, you know, try twice as hard next time! <laughs> I will try not to let those Hodes do any more damage. I am so glad I turned to you for help. Quest completed. Trouble at the plant is done. Hold on there. Can you hear that? What's that flapping sound? Sorry, I gotta hide. Take care of those things. Hold attack! Defeat two confusion echidos at Earth Sea. Yeah, they just appear. Hmm. Yeah, the, uh, these guys. Confusion Echidna. Ricky the Burninator! Burninating the Echidos! Ricky's also the Freezinator! And the Tempered Tantruminator! <laughs> and the Pythonator! Ricky is the Allinator! Take this confusion echidna, which is almost dead. And now it is. We left it to them. Mm -hmm. Ricky stack up status ailments that will slowly chip away at health. This add to our DPS, yes? <laughs> <laughs> of course you did, you sweet thing. Who's a brave boy? Mm -hmm. Ricky was brave. Ricky, bravest boy. Yes. That was terrifying. They, they were really out to get us. They must have come for revenge. I suppose it's only natural you did kill their leader. It's a good thing you were here. If I was by myself, those things would have eaten me for sure. Right, I'm going to repair the lighthouse. And thank you for everything you've done. Yay, yay, happy. Ricky, really happy. You did a good thing, Ricky. Melly, say nice things. Ricky, really happy. Sarah's lighthouse will be in danger if I don't go soon. I must hurry. Quest completed. Oh, 
Wait, no, I didn't want to go there. Shit. I read that wrong. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go to the lighthouse. Go to the lighthouse. Uh, the lighthouse has a new questy poo. Oh, is this the quest I think it is? Is it? Is it? Is it? Shalin. Hello, you're Hyantia, aren't you? I am. Sorry for asking such a silly question. You're certainly a cute one, but... Look like... You're certainly a cute one, but look like... Look like you can handle yourself? But... Look like you can... What the heck? It should be, but it looks like you can handle yourself. Yeah. Ricky think they not recheck the <laughs> localization for mistake. this definitive edition. Not a mistake. There's no need for flattery. What is it you want? Oh, you must be shy. Do you know the job of this lighthouse? Of course I do. It serves to suppress the activity of the monsters at Earthsea. That prevents them from attacking Alchemoth. It is a very important installation. You're right. Everyone knows the lighthouse has had some problems recently, so I asked Er. Jirak to. Um. Why are you acting so nervously? That's not important now. It'll take quite a lot of time to repair. If any monsters attack, we'll be completely helpless. I see. I suppose we could protect you all until the repairs are finished. That's an excellent idea. Are you sure? Defeat three decay echidnos. Thank you so much for this. It's fine during the day, but monsters are active at night. We would be so grateful for you if you could protect us at night, like the wings of that mo from like the wings of that monster right over there. Yeah, we're relying on you. There you go, you're done talking? Alright, let's party! So the monster was just waiting for you to finish your counter. Uh, he, he spawned in as soon as I accepted the quest. Okay. And then he's like, um, guys, I'm, okay, uh, I, I guess I can wait. I guess I'll wait. I mean, I know I'm a monster, but I don't have to be a dick about it. <laughs> I have to kill three of these things, and all three of them are around in the lighthouse, so... Hmm. If I'm going to be fighting flying monsters, uh... Next! Wouldn't let me lock onto him. Burst and take this. Zoom. This quest is the quest that unlocks Melia's fourth skill branch, and is usually the first fourth skill branch that most people discover, since the only prerequisite is the lighthouse quest, I mean, the 
not Lighthouse, the uh, Ether Plant quest that I just did. Seems much easier than Rhine's. Or Shulk's, or anyone else's for that matter. This is, this is that, obli this is that sort of that sort, you know, obligatory, made easy on purpose so that people know it's a thing. Hmm. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's not the first one available to you if you know where you're going and what you're doing. If you know what you're doing. But, uh, it is the first one that you're likely to stumble upon just playing the game normally. To be like, oh, that's a thing. I should, like, look out for these. Go from side to side. His skill is captivating. I think we can do it. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Where is uh? I only need one shot, so show no restraint. I'm gonna mind blast you in the face. Followed by a thunder bullet right up your ass. <laughs> and now... Get ready for Ricky Tantrum! Wow! How's things? We are. We are all very grateful. Thanks to you, the lighthouse could be repaired. I knew I could only trust someone who knows how important it is. Splendid. I am glad we could have been, we could be of service. The lighthouse once again has all four lights on. Hopefully air at sea will be a little safer from now on. I am extremely grateful for your help. Think nothing of it. We simply did what we had to do. I have one more thing to ask of you. Hmm, I expected as much. Uh, what is it? Would you like to thank Jirak for me? You can tell him yourself. There is no reason to be so reticent. Uh, okay, what what is re this? Re reticent? Re re reticent? Reticent. I guess. Uh, uh. I think it's pronounced reticent. Reticent. What what is that? Look it up. Okay. Something to keep you awake. I can't. If there's no reason to be reticent, then you, then can you not tell him? Why me? You should tell him yourself. You should tell him yourself how you feel. I decline your request. I understand. You are reticent as well. Do not speak as if, you, as if I'm like you. I am not reticent. It is just that I am unaccustomed to doing such things. You have to get used to it at some point. You might, you must not go through life always hiding your true feelings. I said I am not reticent. Hee <laughs> hee, good luck. Not revealing one's thoughts or feelings readily. Night glow staff. Melia's reticent skill branch has been unlocked. Oh, there's the reticent. I am not reticent. I am not reticent. Reticent! Reticence evil. <laughs> <laughs> reticence evil.
next to Melia, I think Dunban has the second easiest uh, fourth skill tree branch quest to unlock. Huh. <sighs> second or third? There's another character who has a really easy one to do. Mm hmm. Or not to do, but to gain. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Ryan learned Anka Chain. Anka Chain? I gotta set up Anka Chain. Uh, I guess Ryan doesn't need to focus on guarding as much. <laughs> Ooh, and he learned Lariat. 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 Lariat, my chariot. Uh... I guess I can get rid of Shield Bash. Actually, no, wait, I got a better idea. Let's go to Colony 9. Preparing for Adventure 3. Yep, I knew it was over by Agora Shora. <laughs> it's also heart to heart out here. Yeah. That I can do now. I just have to fight that giant mountain turtle thing and take its liver. Okay. Oh god, they took my liver! Yeah! <laughs> Lake Perotheus! This is a unique monster that only appears during this quest. Come on, Lake Perotheus, let's play! Oh god, god, not you two again. Come on, Lake Perotheus! <laughs> oh, Orthless. Orthless. Lake Perotheus, come on! <laughs> What are you gonna do, Mr. Toidle? You gonna crush me? You think you gonna crush me? Okay, my turn. 
Haha, <laughs> you missed me, you missed me. Now you gotta backslash. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna die! Oh, by the way, I didn't mention this in the last episode, but, um, right as Shulk's Monado powered up and he was about to slash Metal Face, the symbol in the Monado as the Monado changed is the symbol for person. Huh. Basta! And you automatically get the liver when you beat the... <laughs> clear torta soup. <laughs> Tonight we dine on clear torta soup. <laughs> So yeah, the, the Monado can now cut people as well as face Mechon. And we kind of already know why it couldn't cut face Mechon. Yeah. But simply having a human pilot shouldn't be doing that though, should it? Hmm. Maybe there's more to this than meets the eye. <laughs> Oh, right! Shala, I never took a girl home before! But then again, I never actually left Colony 9 before! <laughs> Shala, I want to show you a spot! I, I think this is Charlene Ryan, I'm not entirely sure. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, you saw the wiki up? Should. We need heart to hearts overlooking the colony. Gameplay? Yes. Heart to heart. Uh, click on that and then find overlooking the colony. Anyways. I'll get this started while you get that up. What's up, Shyla? I look at the co I look at the colony, and all, and all I can think is how things used to be. Back when you lived in Colony Six, you mind? Before all this happened. Yeah. I think about it. What, I think about what Colony Six was like back then, and I remember the state it's in now, and it breaks my heart. Okay. Uh, don't. Okay. Uh, oh wait. Do you want to go back there? You want to go back there? If you went back, you could help out with the re with the reconstruction. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought about it. But I can't. Not right now. Why not? All the, all the survivors from the camp would love to see you again. I just feel like it's not time yet. We still have battles to fight. How can I even think about going home and living a peaceful life? Don't be, don't be so hard on yourself. Everyone deserves a break sometime. You especially. Otherwise, you'll kneel over from all the stress. You're right, of course. 
I can't do everything on my own. Now you're getting it. <laughs> what would you do without my... You do make me smile, Ryan. I have to know. Would you be angry right now if I hadn't agreed with you? Of course I'd be angry. We're friends, aren't we? Oh, I see. You'd be angry as a friend. Uh, I mean, well, not just because we're friends. Why are you laughing? Oh, no reason. I never stay sad when I'm around you. I'm glad I met you, Ryan. That went way over my head, but whatever. I'm happy too. <laughs> I think my Ryan voice is like hyper exaggerated. Yeah. Well, hi yo, everyone. I'm Ryan. Uh, uh, Ryan, what's wrong with your voice? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I always sound like this. I'll die else. <sighs> I'm gonna turn in a few more quests and then call this a call this an episode. Oh, it's an hour and 40 minutes. Well, we had a stop and look up stuff which will probably be cut out Are you that? so this is the Oroth Orothos liver I'm really in your debt now, we, now we're ready to adventure we're ready to leave whenever Carleth and me are really looking forward to this adventure when we get back we'll tell you about it well that's that finished well done Ricky this is thanks for both, from both of us. You did an amazing job. <sighs> no, don't, don't go and. It's hard for me to do Ryan's voice when he's like more, uh, like I I, I kind of almost want to say like melancholy or just like you know quieter or more thoughtful or whatever. <laughs> when, when I always default to like Ryan's excited voice. <laughs> yeah. Excite Ryan. <laughs> The, the newest game in the Excite line. Well? You came home safely. I don't know how to thank you. Well, that's that. Even a rude and violent person can help people when they try. Say what you want, Buzzball. You ain't gonna stop me feeling good. I was so sick with worry. But I can't pronounce that. It's safe. <laughs> I'm so, so really. Here's a little token of my thanks. Please take it. Well, that's that. Join us next time for some more brine. More brine time. Ricky, wingstand. I'm here to introduce you to the Rhine Squad. The Rhine Squad. You built a farm. Nice. That's exactly what I came here to do. Why did we need a future vision to know this? 
Ah, okay. These will start off the quest chains I need for Ryan's fourth skill tree. Finally! Get him! Because he murdered our child? No, because he nicked us! I detox, bro. Oh yeah, they didn't go down in a single sword drive. <laughs> We're gonna rhyme on your parade! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you, like, lose no momentum from jumping in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Shulk and the others were making their way to Valak Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, what kind of mess have you gotten yourself into?